No beavers were injured in the making of this film. Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today we're going to be fixing a dent in Red Beaver's truck. That's right, Red Beaver had a little bit of an accident, so we went over to Harbor Freight and we picked up some of these inexpensive, what is that thing called? Suction cup, dent puller, something other. So come along today on the farm vlog. We're going to see if the Pittsburgh Steel suction cups from Harbor Freight will pull a dent out of his truck. All right? Woo! So we're gonna get the down and dirty, the real story about what happened here with the truck. And we're gonna learn a little bit about this truck. Howdy folks, Red Beaver here. And I sit in front of my 2001 Chevy Silverado. Bought it brand new. And as you can see, I've got a big dent in my right rear door. It's actually the first dent I've ever had or gotten on the truck, major dent. The truck has 314,000 miles. Um, amazingly, the transmission Although I never changed the fluid, really checked it. I had the original transmission for 256,000 miles. This truck is a beast. I love it. Earlier I said I hit a beaver. What actually happened is I, I tried to go into a very tight spot between two trees and I didn't quite make it. So this is the end result. We're gonna see what we can do with it. I'm not so sure these cups are gonna work, but let's give it a try. Before we try this on Red Beaver's truck, we got a bunch of dents in the old silver Dodge here, and we're gonna give them a shot on it. So the first thing, what makes sense to me, is to go ahead and clean it good with some glass cleaner. We'll wipe it up really good, and then we'll install the suction cups. Now we've had them out in the sun, both vehicles out in the sun, so I can actually feel the warmth coming off of this. It's probably 30 something degrees out here, and this is probably 55 or so degrees. First suction cup we're gonna try is this four and a half inch Pittsburgh Automotive suction cup. We'll open her up. Pretty cool. We picked these up at Harbor Freight for like $4.99 and basically this little suction cup clamps down. You clamp this down and it draws the suction cup tight. We're going to give her a try. My mind tells me to come out here just a little ways and install this clamp. We're going to mash it against there, pull it snug, pull it tight. It's holding pretty good. And we're going to give her a tug. Oh. All right, it pulled it out a little bit. Let's clamp on again. Kind of, it slides a little bit. I didn't pull paint, so that's good. Let's get down here a little bit. It's got a nice crease right here, so I'm not so sure it's gonna work, but. It's definitely <laughs> pulling the dent off a little bit better than it did. So this is our test bunny. I think we're gonna go on over to the Red Beaver's truck. Oh, good Lord. So we have the four and a half inch and we also have the two and a quarter inch diameter one. We're gonna set this one down. This is a fairly tight spot right here and it's fairly uneven so I'm gonna mash really hard up against the fender or up against the door here as I push so we'll mash it really hard suction cup to it and I think I'm gonna put both suction cups on at the same time I think I'm gonna put one it would make sense for me to put one up here if I possibly could. Handy little tools to have around the farm though. If you need to transport glass, these things are awesome. And I think that's what they're made for. They're not really made for dent pulling, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. Ooh, that trim's just a little bit too wide for me to get a good bite. Nope, all right, here we go. Here it goes. Oh yeah. You like it. It's gonna work, sort of. It's still gonna be a dent here, but it's not gonna be quite as significant. Oh, hard to get a bite. Oh. oh. <laughs> Little guy. Whoop. Soak it down. Let the gods of the glass cleaner do their work for a minute. So what we've got is a little bit of a crease down here, but no crease up here. I really wish I could get a bite right there, but I think we're going to be okay. If all else fails, we could always 
maybe drill a screw into there and pull it out. <laughs> Red Beaver's shaking his head. Eh, 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 eh. Let's make sure she's nice and clean for attempt number two. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Probably would help if we had a little wax. Could wax this thing and make it real slick and sticky. Fill in all those little holes that might cause an air gap. Mash this guy in. Clamp him in. I need the little one, please, Vanna. <laughs> and get the little guy. There we go. Let's give her a try again. Oh, massage. Oh, massage. You see it moving. Slowly moving on out of there. This is... Ah! Oh, you know what they call this in southern Russia, right? Tough shiski. Tough shiski! Tough shiski! I think the little guy's doing a better job here. Might just have to do a gentle massage. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh, let's get down here next to that crease. That's going to be our problem area. going to take finesse. Oh. oh, redneck gods are not shining on me. So give him down. Probably says not to do that on the packaging. Oh, Lord. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Find Oh, <laughs> make a friend today. Ah, oh, it's too wet. I know what you're thinking. We could just go in the inside of the truck and bang, pop it out. What fun would that be? Oh, there she goes. We've worked the den out far enough that the big cup is having a hard time suctioning to it. Oh, you turd. I need about three of these little guys. So the problem is up in here. Let's massage a bit as we pull. We gotta get that crease out. Ooh. Oh, I got an idea. Be right back. So both of us have come to the determination that this dent has moved slightly. What I went to the garage to get was this, a rubber mallet that's a dead blow hammer. And we took a rag and taped it around the dead blow hammer and we're gonna whack the side of the truck right where that seam is. There's a ridge that's causing us to not be able to pull this out. So I'm gonna give a little tug and a little tap at the same time. I may have Red Beaver assist me on this one. There's a crease right here in the middle and I wanna strike it right there while pulling right here. Let's give it a try. Slightly pull, slightly, very gently. Beaver dropped his tool in the dirt. What do we know about dirt and tools, kids? Dirt don't like tools. Well, dirt does like tools, and tools don't like dirt. Man, okay, you can really see it's starting to come out. It's still pretty, pretty dented right up here, but we're getting there. I don't know that I'm gonna get a bite of this thing now. I think we may be out of luck on the, on the big one. Here comes the little guy. So the little guy, I think, should probably go about right here, a little off center of the dent. We're gonna tap right here, just gently pull. All right, we've got this problem area up here. We really would like to get the door panel off and reach back in there and just go pop and just pop this dent out. I'm gonna massage this just a little bit more with that suction cup. Let's get him back on there. I'm gonna get on up here a little higher with it. Oh. The little one does not grab as good as the big one. These aren't pro body tools. This is some redneck crap, man. We're just having some fun. Oh, right now, somebody wants me to do this. And I'm doing it. <laughs> I, suction cups work better when you lick them. <laughs> that's a proven fact. God knows it. Oh! Yeah, that's it. That's it, beaver. Get on it, boy. Two finger pull. I'm going to pop it. I'm going to pop it hard, though, okay? It's going to come off. You ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. It's coming out. All right, I want to hit right here, a little below. 
Is it worth $4.99 to get you one of these? Absolutely, I'd say get two or three. If we had more of the small ones, maybe two small ones and two big ones, we probably could work this den out. Now, the big Dodge, the silver Dodge truck, it's hopeless. <laughs> A little more massage to do down low here. We can pull this side molding off right here and re-stick it on with some two-sided tape. That's all it's holding it on in the first place. Mr. Beaver, are you okay with that? Pulling the door panel is really going to be a pain in the butt. Okay. It'd be best if we could pull this back. And this sticks on with two-sided tape. You'll see when we pull it off. I think that's what we should do. I just don't want to hurt the resale value. <laughs> <laughs> we may, by pulling this off, we may pull the den out, actually. What do you think? That'd be awesome if that happens. Rad. All right, let's do it. Let's get in here. Two-sided tape. going to have uh, several years of dirt and grime under here, but... We may be able to snatch this off and pull this den out. Here goes. Oh. Well, that was the awkward. I say we remove all this, dude. Your truck's gonna look way more classy. <laughs> Let's clean her up. I'm gonna make a bet with the red beaver right now that he doesn't put this piece of trim back on. We clean this up and he says, nah, I'm not putting it back on. <laughs> We're gonna roll this tape off. It's gonna be a little bit of a process. Stand by, we'll see you in 10 minutes. That's the texture of a booger. How many windows in your truck roll down? <laughs> in theory, two. In How many reality, no. I keep trying to get him up here, guys, so we can replace the window regulators on, the, on his truck. Hey, this is a start. This is his rock star pickup truck. Look, we ended at the same time. All right, we got it off. Gonna take a little bit of goof off and clean this off real quick. Is the suspense killing you? <laughs> I hope this works. This is gonna be really cool if it does work. It'll be really, really cool. All right, get all our adhesive pieces off of here. I think we've got all the adhesive removed in the spot where we're gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and clean it one more time with some glass cleaner. Get off all that goof off. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, here it goes. Oh! <laughs> Cha ching! Cha ching! <laughs> Let me go! Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna give this a little massage, a little massage right there. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, jump in here and subscribe. We're gonna be doing a restoration on a 1952 Willys Jeep CJ3A. It's the non-military version. Gonna have a whole lot of fun with that. We're gonna pull the whole body off and do all kinds of fun stuff. Can you give her a tug? Don't fall down, buddy. Chip a tooth. Okay. <laughs> I don't have no insurance up here on the farm. Up here be the place to hit now. Give me a pull. Don't give up on me now, Bart. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> beaver, beaver down. Beaver down. <laughs> it's coming out. It really is. Can you tell? I can. I think just tapping on that ridge really helping it. A little bit more pressure kind of pulled down a little. There you go. Pull out a little more. There you go. Okay. All right. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Still one little bitty wave right here and we can't give up before we get that done. So you got a crease here and that crease there. Yeah. I think we can get that little guy out. So basically what happens here, when the metal bends and it creases like this, it stretches and it's not gonna go back to its original shape without body tools. But we're getting there. Hey little guy, I'm a real boy. <laughs> oh yeah, hang on here, I got to Oh, come on baby. Make a friend today. Oh Lord! Put 
she's that's about ready for date about, night. She's about ready for date night? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, we still got a little ding right here, but man, this thing was totally, totally caved in. So that's proof in the making that a $5 dent puller will work to make your truck look just a little bit better. Uh, hopefully the Red Beaver is pretty happy about that. I'll try and post a link down below in the video description. I recommend getting two of the big ones and two of the little ones. If you get in a pickle like this, you can pull your dent out. It'd be a good time. I think Red Beaver's happy. You happy about this? Absolutely. Awesome, awesome stuff, guys. Well, come on back and join us here again on the Stony Ridge Farm. I thank you for watching the video today. Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon down there to notify when we post a new video, and we'll have some more fun here on the Stony Ridge. We'll All right. You don't care a whole lot about your truck. The hammer and the suction cup work great. Way deep down in the pit of my loins, I knew the Red Beaver would not reinstall this piece of trim. So we went in the shop, we cleaned it up, and we're gonna reinstall it, and we'll get you a total before and after. The biggest challenge here is to make sure that it's gonna mount up evenly with the old piece. And we're gonna take a yardstick, go right across here, and we're gonna level it up right here with the yardstick. It's a little misshapen where the dent was, but hopefully it'll hold on nicely. Oh yeah. Nice. I think it's going to be great, man. Looks great. Check it out. So we went from a huge nasty dent, and that's the shadow of the camera right there, but we went from a huge nasty dent to not so huge nasty dent. You almost can't even tell, except for the little scratches right here. And Red Beaver promises me he's going to wax this truck for the first time in nine years. You want to get uncomfortably close to me? No, not that. Beaver in the ear. You ain't got to sit down, man. Unless you can't bend over. <laughs> Cramping. Here we go. Both of us look toward it. Now look toward the camera. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> Man, I got lost in that. I got lost. Red Beaver? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell a man's not planning on doing anything when he wears a pair of gloves like that. He's going skiing up here on the farm. <laughs> it's anti-booger pick. Oh, can't pick his nose. The other day I was leaving the farm and ironically I hit a beaver. Bounced right off though and unfortunately he was dead. I tried to revive him as beavers we look out for each other but he was too far gone. And there was wood involved and I don't know if it was from the beaver or if I actually hit a tree. I'm not sure. Let's go. Cha-ching! <laughs> Cha-ching!